Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Course. Now I'm doing something I very rarely do. I'm on the beach at low tide on a Saturday morning when I'm normally doing jobs at home. And I'm looking for the day six update for your Star Wars fix. So that's Anchor Zone Promenade where they're clearly putting something up. I'm not going to walk right down there today. There's a limit on how much walking I'm prepared to do on a Saturday morning. So if you know Cleveland, you'll recognise the Sea Swallow. And we're at the end of Victoria Road West, which is the shopping street that's just at the back of this bullnose on the, on the sea wall. And we're going to walk back towards Cafe Cove, distance, distance, direction. <coughs> and we're going to go and see what it is that they're doing, because they're setting up to do some filming here as well. So these little poddy things are making an appearance and there's quite a few yellow vests. Now I've walked along from low tide so I'm not quite sure what they're doing yet. So this is all new to me too. So I'll go and find out between us. So first of all I must apologise for yesterday <laughs> clipping the pieces of film together in the wrong direction. I got I made two pieces while I was out and I've put the first one at the end and the end one at the beginning. So I'm sorry for that. I was in such a rush to get it online and show you what they were doing that um, I got it completely the wrong way around. So these are some of the pod things that they've got up at Jubilee Gardens that they're, they're setting up. And these appear to be some kind of, I don't know, they look like market stalls to me. Um, so that's the, that's the first bit that we've seen. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go onto the steps and I'm going to walk round here and shorten the, the video and I'll, I'll try to get them in the right order this time. Curiouser and curiouser, when I get a little bit nearer, you can see the pods covered up with some tarpaulins. But there's another guy underneath the shelter fitting something to the shelter. So I wonder what that is. Looks like some kind of supernatural telephone. Oh, they've stood right in the middle of my line of view. I bet they've done that deliberately. <laughs> oh no, just a minute, they're moving. So I wonder what they are. I bet you Star Wars people know what they are. Well, I'm back at the cafe end of the beach now and I've just seen something I've never seen before. That there, that. I can't get right near to it because it's surrounded by really thick, sinky mud. But it looks just like a boat. It's just the shape of a boat. So there you go, you see, this, the fact is often stranger than fiction. And you never thought that Star Wars would be filming at Cleveland's either, did you? So we're back down at the cafe end of the proceedings. And we're going to have a look and see what we can see this morning. And would you believe that the clouds just come over the sky? I ask you, that's not good, is it? I want everybody to see Cleveland at its best because all your people that are watching this for the first time that um, have never been to Cleveland, don't know anything about it, didn't know it existed, obviously you're going to subscribe to our channel, aren't you? And you're going you're gonna to come back when all this is over and done with. Because as you can see, it's a beautiful seaside town. This pile of metal in front of us is what's known as Mary's Shell. And that is a piece of the, the Sea Swallow Mythic Art Trail. So I don't think we're going to actually manage to see very much today that we didn't see yesterday. I'll just zoom in and we can take a closer look. So there's those pod things there at the side of the water area. There's a blue trim that's been put up across the top of the cafe and you can see that the cafe doors have been turned into sort of porthole affairs. But all of the seafront is, is taped off. So we'll walk a little bit nearer and see what else we can see. So don't forget, <coughs> I'm going to keep saying it until you've all done it, don't forget to subscribe to our Visit File Coast YouTube channel. 
and hit that little bell for notifications because when all this is over and done with we've got all kinds of other interesting things to do so we've got um piers and attractions in blackpool and heritage trams and all that kind of stuff we've got interesting local history walks on the beach more shopping coffee and cake you name it we're gonna do it so this is Mary's Shell as you get near up to it. Now I read on Facebook somebody said that it was going to be used as a portal, presumably into another world, and you can see why, if indeed that's true. Um, when we came in one of our videos the other day, I think it might have been day two, you could just see the top of it um, through the water, and I'm about five foot six, so if I go, I've got my wellies on, obviously. So if I stand at the side of it, you can see how tall it is above my head, pretty much. It's a big, it's a big one. And this has been in place for quite some time, as you can tell by all the wildlife that's growing on it. Right, so let's see what we can see up here. I don't think we're going to see very much, actually. It's just, it's just the same view that we got yesterday. So we'll we'll go around we'll go around the other side of the cafe and we'll take a walk round on the seafront because today, the thirtieth of the sorry, the first of May I'm losing track of days, aren't I? The first of May is the day when the highway closes. Which probably thinking about it explains why it's so quiet because I was just wondering why it sounded so quiet. So that's what they're doing long. Not really a great deal to see, but very interesting on the lice. <coughs> you can see why they've closed the highway, to be fair, because when, when uh, we did day five yesterday, it was really busy. There were loads of people about. They were taking gear from the car park across to the. Um, access point at, at the little car park at the side of the pram and somebody was obviously going to end up getting knocked down if it got any busier and stayed open so it's a good thing it's closed really so I tell you what I'll cut this little bit out because it's a it's a job working over those pebbles and I'll rejoin you in a second so it's all starting to happen on Cleveland's pram we've got a promenade close sign on the on the footpath so if you want to go on the the beach you need to be careful please don't end up getting trapped by the incoming tide I tide is about three o'clock today um, road closure in place so you can't actually drive on on there now you've got to go down Cargate venue is open um, throughout so you, you can use the, the venue car park and you can come and get your food and drink while you while you're watching the the fun. Um, please note though that if you want food, you've got to book in advance because the booked up anyway after being closed all this time for COVID. So we made we made the acquaintance of the security people yesterday. So a big shout out for the ambulance lady. Apparently she's been watching my channel and I think they've just clocked me turning up. Um, so let's see what today brings, shall we? I'm not sure that we'll get an update on Monday because the weather forecast is awful. So I feel I feel heartily heartily sorry for them on Monday because I think they're going to find the foot. In fact, I don't hold out much hope for the palm trees. I hope they're not putting them out before then. It's gonna it's gonna get blown away. So. We're all busy doing things here. Oh, they're putting a tap all in up there, you go look. So if I'd have come a little bit later, you'd have seen nothing. So the tap all in's going to cover all the view. So you need to rely on me to see what you're going to see. Let's turn around. There you go. They're, they're just doing whatever they're doing. And I think any second now, you're going to see the tap all in go up over that rope. Mm, very interesting. Morning! <coughs> I 
We'll go and have a... We'll go and have a word with them when we come back. I've got to say, it makes it appreciably quieter when when there's no cars. It's really quite strange. So they've got the black screens up there and they've got the black stuff on the on the um, beds so that they can use that as a outstanding area and the, the cloth's going up any minute now I think and this is the area that they're using for the minibuses where they're ferrying people backwards and forwards because it's quite a long walk down to Anchor Zone from here so you really, if you're working on set and you're doing the setup, you really won't want to be you really won't want to be um, walking all that way every time you wanted something. I realised yesterday I didn't give you a close-up shot of the cafe, so just before they put the before they put the screens up, I'll uh, show you what is behind the um, tarpaulin that's just going up now. <laughs> Somebody had put on Facebook, um, on social media, that they'd seen a um, a logo for Andor, which is believed to be the Andor, Endor, oh I'm, I'm terrible aren't I, I'm going to have to swat up on all this before before the filming's up <clears throat> um, and obviously we're going to get no confirmation from anybody until it's all over and done with and ready for release but I'll tell you something we'll all be watching Star Wars we'll all be watching Star Wars to see if we're going to be starring in it so we'll just We'll just wait here a second and wait and see while the top holding goes on. So this is this road is closed now from the first to the eighth of May. So if you want if you want to go on the beach, you've got to go on the beach at Central Cleveland or down here at Russell Beach and just just be aware that it's gonna be busy. There's gonna be a lot of people around going to be a lot going off. Here comes another pod. I wonder where they're taking that there, round. Hold on, I think they might be taking it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just starting to put the tarpaulin up. Oh, they are, they're going round that way, look. Onto the, onto the seafront. So that's another one of these little markety poddy things. And they were, I thought they were just going to put the tarpaulin up because they just started stretching it as I picked the camera up. You know when you're watching, um, you know when you're watching sports programs and election results and things on television, and the commentators sort of waffling to fill this island. I can feel myself doing that. That's that pod look going round the back. I wanted to I wanted to show you that the view had disappeared. I'll rejoin you. So there you go, that's the tarpaulin going up. So I've been I've been studying quite a while already, so it's quite obvious that in another in another twenty minutes that view is gonna disappear. So make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Make sure that um, you've hit that little bell for notifications and we will do our best to keep you updated. It's getting all, it's all getting quite exciting actually. There's loads of people about. There's loads of people walking up and down. Good morning, Mark. Um, there's loads of people walking about and uh, you can feel that. You can feel that kind of palpable buzz that you get in Blackpool when they when they're filming something something big in the town. So if you are watching this and you've been drawn here by Star Wars, make sure that you carry on following Visit File Coast when all this is over and done with. And we'll make sure we keep bringing you all kinds of interesting stuff. So until tomorrow, we will see you later. Bye for now.